Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce the chairperson of the American Chamber of Commerce in Taiwan, Mr. Vincent Shi, to the stage to deliver his remarks. Vincent. President Tsai, AIT Director Oker, and the Chairperson Rosenberger, distinguished guests, and my fellow Chamber members. Welcome. Good evening. Well, what a night. When I just walk in, when we all mingle together, I can see all the atmosphere and all the passion in this room. Yeah, just want to say thank you and welcome to MCHAN's 55th Annual Xinian Fan. It's my great pleasure to be with you tonight as we celebrate another successful year as Taiwan's most influential international business organization. So on behalf of ancient board and our more than 1,100 members, I would like to thank everyone involved in organizing these flagship events. So let's give another round of applause for the unwavering support of our staff, the board of governors, supervisors, or the stakeholders in making this event so successful. Although some of our old friends may know that we have held this event for 55 years, I can't help but still feel this year is still very special. The interest in our Xinian Fan was so overwhelming. So you can see we have decided to move to Mayor Taipei for the first time. And this is already a bigger venue, bigger room, as you can see, but we already have more than 800 record high guests tonight. So who are all here, including all of you. I know you are all here because we all believe in the power of partnership and the collaboration. And definitely, I know you are not just here for the free drink we offer for the reopening <laughs> of the bar for tonight. <laughs> yeah, but above all, this year is also very special because we find ourselves in a very golden moment for the business and international exchange. Our members' continued dedication to the Taiwan market is a testimony to the many opportunities available here. In fact, our business climate survey shows that 88% of our members plan to maintain and expand their investment in Taiwan. Some of them made a very wide decision to sponsor an ancient event tonight. The past year has not only seen the investment in terms of dollars, but also into the US-Taiwan relationship, which, dare I say, is warmer than even before. The US-Taiwan initiative of 21st century trade, the Economic Prosperity Partnership Dialogue, and the Taiwan Enhanced Resilience Act are just some of the great examples of how the relationship has flourished. And perhaps all of, all of us in this evening also uh, remember that President Tsai's recent transit through Los Angeles, where she met with Honorable Speaker Kevin McCarthy's and the bipartisan group of congressional leaders. Just as President Tsai commented during the event, we are stronger when we are together. <laughs> this is true, not only for the US-Taiwan relationship, but also for all our membership here. I must also agree with Speaker McCarthy's comment in early April. The US and Taiwan must strengthen their economic collaboration particularly with trade and technology. We look forward to even more investment, trade, and people-to-people -people exchange in the coming years, and hope that a bilateral tax agreement, which will encourage more interaction, will soon be a reality. As, an, as a devoted partner, MCHAN offers our support to create a sus substantial result from the 21st century talk. We recognize the need of a decisive action to sustain Taiwan growth, the international trade agreement and streamlined regulations are critical components of that effort. There has never been a better time to take action than now. Taiwan finds itself in a prime position to make use of the spotlight currently shining on it. At a time of division, fostering closer relationship with like-minded partners will help ensure strength through prosperity. 
We hope that Taiwan takes full advantage of this year of opportunities and continue to innovate and expand its industry, preparing its economic trade toward the future it deserves. And Taiwan must accelerate the speed of regulatory reform and create an open, investment-friendly and Asia business environment that puts it on the world map. By investing in energy stability and renewable, implementing good regulatory practice, and increasing the resilience of our supply chain, public health, and digital infrastructure by embracing public cloud, we can create an environment where business and people thrive. With that in mind, I want to take this opportunity to express our gratitude for the constructive relationship that we enjoyed for so many years with Taiwan government. As you can see in the audience here tonight, the Taiwan government value engagement with the chamber. Among you sit approximately 140 government officials and representatives. They come from a wide range of different agencies and roles, but definitely showcase the, show, the broad support the Chamber enjoys, and we are honored to have this opportunity to say thank you to each one of you in our Xinian Fan tonight. Although time unfortunately limits me for showing appreciation to each one of you, I want to thank the National Development Council and Mr. Gomishin. Thanks for your coordination efforts. We have yet again concluded a series of meetings to discuss the 2022 white paper issues. The Chamber looks forward to working even more closely with the government to foster a business environment that is investment friendly and aligned with international standards. Naturally, our Chamber could not be thrive into its 72nd year without the help of a second critical government partner. And Chen is grateful to our good friend at AIT and the extraordinary support provided by Director Okirk. We are also so honored to have the newly on board AIT Chairperson Rosenberger join us as our special guest tonight, and we hope we can have more opportunity to inter interact with each other. I would also like to give a special mention to Amy Chang, who stepped in as Chamber's present this spring on a very short notice. Amy plays an important role in keeping the Chamber stable and successful as we prepare to welcome a new Chamber President. We are very grateful for her commendatory leadership in such a dynamic period that is important to the Chamber. <laughs> Lastly, I want to extend my sincere appreciation to Her Excellency, President Tsai Ing-wen, for joining us and delivering tonight's keynote speech. Since the year 2000, when the late President Li Teng Hui gave the first presidential keynote speech at the Xinian Fan, it has been such a great tradition that we all look forward to every year. This is President Tsai's seventh consecutive Xinian Fan, and we appreciate her support, not only in her own attendance, but also bringing, including uh, our Premier Chen and uh, all the cabinet members to the, this wonderful evening. I would like to also congratulate President Tsai on receiving the Hassan Institute Global Leadership Award in late March. We too recognize your great courage and clear eye determinations that has been proven by so many achievements by you and your administrations. And lastly, a big thanks to every one of you who took the time to attend our Xinian Fan. The Chamber looks forward to even more closer collaboration with you all in building strength through prosperity. I hope this night serves as a reminder of the things we can accomplish together through the dialogue and partnership. And in the coming years, we will prove to see just how much stronger we can be when we are together. Thank you again, and enjoy this wonderful evening. Thank you, Chairperson Vincent Shi. Please return to your seat. Thank you for a great speech.